any way you want to explain it, that you, in fact, are not the crow, but another, the character of the crow is different from who you are, even though you're the crow. No, in fact, I am undead. Yeah. And I frequently go on killing rampages. And watch, I'll put this cigarette out on my chin and it won't even hurt me. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, this is, this is a behind the scenes. We're not going to go too much into what the film is actually about. Thank God. Answer, like, the elements of the film, like, it's your character, it's Eric, right? Is, uh, kind of has a dark side, but he's also a musician. You want to talk about that? Well, um... The interesting thing about this character to me is that you're dealing with a guy who's literally been pushed to the limits of his own sanity, you know. And uh, I think that something of the persona of the crow that he takes on, he does because he himself can't necessarily deal with what's happening. And by creating this persona, he creates someone who can deal with what's going on. And I just want to say that I really love playing with Axel, and uh, I'm really looking forward to our upcoming concert tour. Actually, I'm kind of disappointed because I, I didn't seem to come up with the catchphrase for this film. Another character did, and the catchphrase is, uh, was too loaded. <laughs> so is that what the crew walks around saying all the time? Absolutely. <laughs> Are they rolling? No. Oh, okay, as long as we're going. So have you, like, tell me about like the comic book aspects. Have you ever like read book read comic book before? What came first? You're reading the script and you're reading the comic book. I read the script first, but the comic book is wonderful. It's uh it's out in a graphic novel edition right now. There's three graphic novels. Contains all uh, six issues of the comic book. And it's a very pure work. Um, the writer's been out on the set a lot and I've gotten a chance to meet him. You wouldn't necessarily bring him home to dinner with your mother, and I think he'd like me to say that about him. But um, it really is a very pure work. It came from some experiences of his own. And an interesting thing that I like about it is it's essentially a story about a man and a woman who are victims of a terrible crime. And the man gets a chance to come back to try and seek justice, which is something that you just read the news or look around and often does not happen. And uh, it's very satisfying in that way. It's true, but uh, sort of classic comic book crime fighting vigilante usually comes from the victim. Are you a plain of vigilante? Well, in a sense, but oftentimes a vigilante seems to be trying to uh, cure some social ill or fight some larger thing, you know. And the, thematically, I think the film probably will get into exploring that, but it's a very personal story. Eric's trying to come back and uh, take vengeance for something that was done to the woman that he loved. Right now, what, what's going on in the film, that, with the scenes that we're filming today? And if you sort of describe where it comes in the film and what it means? Well, it means I'm wearing a bulletproof vest right now. And I just got shot 20 times. And I've worn squibs before, and I've gotten shot before, but I must say I have never been shot 20 times at once before, which is an experience I think everyone should have. Is it, an, is it an acting challenge that you would recommend for every actor? It's an NAR day. It's a definite no acting required day when you get shot 20 times. <laughs> Reactions come pretty naturally? Yeah. You, well, uh, Alex Proyas should actually come out for you because he does the Proyas shuffle the best, which is the, you know, when you get shot 20 times. So I just, I also just want to say one more thing. Is that, what's it like being signed? signed three pictures by Ed Pressman knowing what happened to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, <laughs> what did Ed do to Arnold Schwarzenegger that I don't know about? <laughs> I have to add him in that little box on his desk. <laughs> no, I mean, are you excited about the prospect? You I'm excited about the film. Uh, you know, the concept that it's been, that it's, there's a possibility of doing a couple more pictures. Mm -hmm. You know, that and a dime will get me a half a phone call, you know. Believe it when you see it. Yeah. But so, um, so do you think the crow is going to be like a franchise? Is it something? Are we going to see Crow 18? Do you think the story has? I hope not. It's a very self-contained story. Um, like I said, it comes from the graphic novel, and it really is a pure work. And once it's over, I mean, I haven't 
even begun to think about what Crow 18 would be. <laughs> I just hope we shoot it someplace warmer. <laughs> but can you talk just briefly about shooting in the cement factory and what it's like? It's Is cold. It? It's very cold. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were shooting during the blizzard of 93. We were outdoors with no shirt, or I was outdoors with no shirt and no shoes on. And uh, it was five degrees outside in the rain which once again is another NAR day. You don't have to work real hard to figure out what you ought to do when it is five degrees outside. <laughs>